Today I will show you how you can create a custom rector, so it doesn't have to be a human, it can be an animal or any object that you want. And this is the result when we are done with our tutorial. So we can play a normal animation and then switch to a ragdoll mode. So we will um, use the bear we already know and uh, this will be a lot of fun to play around with these. At first let's have a look at our scene. So I set up a very big cube as our ground plate, some cubes to have some kind of uh, orientation and this bear. So this bear, uh, maybe some of you know this bear already because this bear is one of the uh, models I created. Um, I can put you a playlist in the top right corner so that you can go through a four part tutorial where I create this bear. And uh, if I play the scene, you will see this is not only a bear, this is a bear that is animated. So this is what it looks like. Um, if you want to have this bear, you can uh, either download this project or you can go through the tutorial series and create your own emails. But let's start with a widget body. So the bear has a box collider and a widget body. Um, and we have want to have a rector. So we will add a script where we deactivate the box collider and the widget body and activate our rector. First up, we will delete the widget body, deactivate the box collider and the bear script. The bear script is just for random walk purposes so that the bear is walking. Okay, um, let's set up our widget body. Mm, we have a bear and a mesh and the root. This is a root of our, amat our amateur. And uh, we will just add one rigid body and a capsule collider. And the capsule collider is just the collider for our main body part. Uh, we can place it as always by drag and drop these here. And we can set the direction for me. The X axis is a correct direction. Maybe this is a good good start for the main body part. I will go a little bit deeper, for example, for the left arm. Um, and here I will create a rigid body as well and a character joint. And as soon as I add the character joint, the rigid body will uh, add it as well. So if you do not uh, add the rigid body, the rigid body will be at least created here. Uh, we set our connected body to the root and now we need another collider. So the capsule collider is a white collider for us. Um, there we go. We need another direction. The X axis is a white for me. Uh, make it a little bit smaller. And maybe yes, this is a good representation of this leg or his left arm. Um, if you click on the top right, you can always see all the colliders. Uh, you should be aware of these intersections between two colliders. So uh, I will take this left arm and make it a little bit closer uh, to the ground. And now it looks perfect. Uh, these colliders should collide right from the beginning because then uh, it will uh, show some messy behavior. So if you go deeper the left arm, you will see the left arm stops here. And this is um, due to the fact how we create and rig our model. Our left hand is here. It's directly under the root because it's an IK node. I will explain all this in the playlist uh, where I created this model. Um, but here we will basically do the same. We had a character joint and you see the widget body is directly added here and a capsule collider. And as always, I think, uh, yes, I should set it to the X axis again and manipulate it so that it represents the hand. I select the root and I see, okay, here is an intersection. Um, I should get rid of it. I make this a little bit smaller and this left hand uh, will be placed here. And there you see there's no 
um, intersection between those two and make sure that you always set the connected body. We can test it right away. Uh, before we start, make sure you deactivate the animator. And here we go. So the arms are connected. Um, everything else is under the ground because the collider is missing, but I will uh, add the collider now. And this is what it looks like as soon as you add all your joints. So it's not necessary to have uh, one character joints on all your bones. So uh, you can just skip bones like the back, the left arm or something like that. Um, but you have to make sure that's, that there's no intersection. Um, the rest pose is not optimal here, uh, but what I did is I just copied the values uh, from this collider uh, to this collider. So it looks a little bit messy, but uh, it actually works. And here we go, he slowly collapses. So I wrote a script that I can shoot him so that we can really see the physics effect on him. Uh, and now I want to modify this so as soon as I hit him the first time, uh, he will stop walking and fall down. To achieve this, uh, we will re-enable the bear, the animator, the box collider, and we will add a rigid body. And uh, ragdoll toggle. And this is the script we will write right now. The first thing we need is uh, to catch all the references to our components. So just type all the components to, down here and on a rake, we will catch the components and we will have the reference in our properties. Then we add a method called vectorlective. Uh, it takes a boolean as an argument and uh, we set the animator enabled as soon as the vector is not active. So when the vector is active, the animator is not enabled, the box collider is not enabled, and the bear is not enabled. And the widget body do, uh, does not detect any collisions. Um, and as soon as we are active with the vector, we set the widget body to uh, kinematic. And we add two different properties. One is a collider and the other one is the widget body. And this is actual an array here. So notice the brackets. So there's more than one collider here and more than one widget body here. And on awake, we will get all the colliders in the children and all the colliders in the widget body. So make sure to have an F here so that you get more than one component and that you add in children. And we have to add some lines to our rector elective script. So for each collider in children collider, we set the collider enabled as soon as the rector is active. And for each widget body and children widget body, we will say detect collision only when the vector is active and set is kinematic to false as soon as the vector is active. Notice that we um, modify the children before we actually modify the root because the root uh, is one of the members in the children. That's some of the weird behaviors of this method here. Now let's activate and deactivate the vector. So on start, we set it to false, so the vector is not active. And on collision enter, we ask if the collision other has a component named ball, and if this is the case, the vector will be activated. And this is the part I was waiting for the complete video, so this is a lot of fun. I placed around um, 20, bears in the scene and now we can actually shoot them and this is fun so yeah um it's it's so much fun i can make a game out of it maybe <laughs> okay um yeah that's it uh i will spend the rest of my day uh hunting some bears and play around with them and yeah, you can make sure that you subscribe, uh, that you download this project. I will put a link into the description where you can di directly download all the things here, the bear, the ball, the script, the complete scene, everything is uh, in this project. That's all you need. And you have to request new videos.